She's really good. Queen of the Mel, 94% of the viewers have voted yes. Oh, really? Now, as you can see here, a base camp has been set up here, which will be defended by the blue team. The aim of the red team will be to take the base camp by force after being dropped off here at the starting point. Okay? Everything okay? Yeah, there's nothing I enjoy more than a spot of babysitting. Just a bit of PR. Used to be good at that. Is that right? I to think of it, used to be good at a lot of things. Marcus, you're late. Yeah, well, I've got a bit held up. Uh, never mind, take your places quickly. You can get changed later. Huh? Uh, your team leader will fill you in on what you've missed. Who's that? Drew. Going. This is fun. So how many directly we've hit so far? That makes three for me. How many you got? Well, I haven't actually had a direct hit yet. Your mate's good. I saw him hit someone. What mate? Well, the ones you brought earlier. Who are they anyway? No, is he? They're just business associates. Well, is that why that bloke wanted to do the other day? To arrange it? What bloke? You know, that friend of Trisha's. He was here earlier. Wanted me to let him know if I saw you. And you did? Yeah. Why? Is that a problem? No. I'm dead. I'm dead! Oh, no. It's a bell. I told you it was better in the tent. Really? Is that allowed, thinking about people? Of course it's allowed. You're dead too. You mean I'm dead as well? Yes. Oh, thanks God. My foot are killing me. Must be nearly over now, nearly everybody's in. Don't you believe I have left my team with a master plan. Just wait. Come on then, Stormy Norman, I'll buy you a cup of coffee. Get on. been a while. I think we should go and look for them. It's very quiet. Come on. Come on. Come on, Faith. Please. Somebody better call a doctor. It's just a scratch. You have to get this seen to. Please don't make a Let's get him back to the club. Tell what happened. Did you fall over? Yeah, yeah. That's right. I fell over. You know my friend that works at the police station? The uh, typist friend? Yeah, she gave me a little snippet of information. Yeah. About how the police got to Felipe Galago. Yeah? She reckons it was an English bloke that tipped them off. And I think we both know what English bloke it is. Runs a health club, drives a flash motor, had a little accident at some war games recently. Yeah, all right, Eddie, you no need to spell it out for me. Time for more celebration, I think. Indeed, good thing I've run away. <laughs> well, you have, haven't you? I can't Feel like, don't spoil this. Don't spoil this moment. After all, it's my birthday, remember? I remember. You and me, you know. We're meant for each other. So. I wasn't imagining things. It was you I saw earlier on. Well, you don't look too pleased about it, Marcus. And I haven't heard so much as a welcome home yet. Welcome home? You still don't sound ecstatic. Just a bit surprised, that's all. And why is that? Well, with Felipe in prison, just about to sing a song, I'd have So thought. you haven't heard them? What? 
believe he's had an accident. I see. In his cell. Hmm. The sort of accident that means he's no longer a threat. Just a stroke of luck, wasn't it? Not for Felipe. Very slippery. Then again, if we can't get Marcus. Mira! Mira! Hey, that is enough. You wake up the baby. We told you Pilar isn't here. So where is she then? sure about that okay listen carefully this is exactly what I want you to do I thought you'd turn up sooner or later I've had better welcomes yep I've read about that and I suppose you had nothing to do with it as it happens no I didn't the only reason I'm here is because before you left I asked you if you thought we had a chance if we'd stayed in Spain. You never gave me that answer. I'm here for that answer now. I'm staying at the usual place. If you want me. trying to kill me. I don't care. I want to be with you. Will you come? You're going to slow me down. No, I won't. Yes, you will. Now look. Just go back to your husband. But I don't want him. I want you. Why are you treating me like this? I don't love you, Pilar. The truth is, I don't think I ever did. Not really. It's not true. You're just saying that because you don't want me to come with you. Listen to me. No. You can't tell me they were lies. Oh, come on, Pilar. How could I resist it? I knew you'd never stay with me unless you thought I loved you. Remember, I've always been a great liar. What about the other night? I just wanted to prove I could have you again. I did, didn't I? Please, why are you doing this? I don't know it's any harder than it already is. Go away. We can't go without him. So what we're gonna do? Wait here all night? Well, you go and I'll stay. No, you go, I'll stay. Where have you been? Go up. Come on, we better come. Come on.
You pig. Oh, look. It's hubby. Where's Marcus? Marcus? Yes, where is he? I don't know. I think you do. Why should I know where Marcus is? He's a big boy now. He can go where he likes. He's got nothing to do with me. That's not true. It's got everything to do with you. Alex? Salted. Tell me, do you recognize this? What happened? We're not sure. He was involved in some kind of car accident. I'm afraid his car caught fire. I'm very sorry, Miss Moreno. <gasps> Oh, Trish. Trish. Have you heard about Marcus? Marcus? What about Marcus? He's dead. Excuse me. Worse and worse. First Felipe dead, now Marcus. Oh, it's all very convenient, isn't it? <laughs> Not for them. No, for you, though. They weren't a problem to me. Neither of them. <laughs> I realise that. I always get what I want. <laughs> this time you don't. Oh, yes. Definitely this time. Maybe not today, nor tomorrow. But soon. Real soon. Pilar. Things have turned out perfectly. What? Everything. You and me. Cheers. Cheers. But what about the bracelet? What was it doing in the car? I must have dropped it. And there was a boy in there. Who was it? The same unfortunate so-and-so that stole my car, I guess. I had no Pilar. You can't trust anyone these days, can you? He wanted freedom. I wanted you. That glitters is never 